Um, so this is the most festive topic I could think of for a holiday party. Uh, data structures and algorithms. So you all probably have heard of quick sort, uh, and the basic idea is um, if you want to sort a list, you pick any element. Uh, usually it's called the pivot, and you just rearrange the elements such that the smaller elements are to the left and the greater elements are to the right. And of course, then the pivot is now at its correct position. So, and then the left and right parts of the list are still unsorted. So you just do the same thing on the unsorted segments. Each, each time you partition, you create two more unsorted segments until you run out of segments and then the whole list is sorted. So this is a classic, a classic sorting algorithm that is recursive. It's recursive in every single textbook. Uh, so this is a simple Python implementation. Um, the partition function, it doesn't really matter how it's done uh, as long as it tells you um, what position the pivot ends up at. And then the two recursive calls simply say, well, I, I have the pivot, now it just goes towards the left and goes to the right. And after this whole function finishes, the whole list is sorted. And don't think about the call stack because you'll get confused. Um, but if you just read the code from top to bottom, uh, it does exactly what you expect. So that's quick sort. Um, and we know that you can turn any recursive implementation into an iterative implementation by maintaining the stack yourself, the call stack. And we know that um, for every function call, the state is only the start and end positions. So the stack is going to contain a, a, a segment of the list. And as long as the stack is not empty, we pop off the first uh, element of, of the stack, which is the start and end. We partition as before, and as long as the um, left or right is not empty, we add it back to the stack, and this does the same thing as the previous version. So you can always do this. And then recently, um, I believe within the last few years, Leslie Lamport, who's a famous computer scientist pointed out that you don't need a stack because nothing about this quick sort algorithm depends on the fact that you have a stack. The last and first out order in which you, you sort the segments is absolutely immaterial. So if you just look at the, the algorithm itself, nothing about it is stack, stackful or recursive. So we might as well, instead of using a stack, use a set and the set, is re the set is an unordered data structure in Python, so anytime you pop off an element, it's an arbitrary element, right? You can almost just randomize, uh, randomize this, the set before you pop it off, and this achieves the same thing. So you have this minor modification, completely you know, makes the order arbitrary, and it still works, and it still, it still has the desired runtime and all the nice properties of the quicksort. So this is quicksort without a stack, um, and I have never seen this idea before in any textbook, um, so I was quite startled when I learned about it. And then the immediate reaction I had was, well, why didn't I think of this? <laughs> um, and um, so why, why, you know, why was it Leslie Lamport and not myself? Um, so I think there are some lessons to this. Um, recursion is an implementation technique. And as programmers, we tend to focus on implementation. Um, the algorithm is the idea, is not the implementation. And so we should focus more on the ideas first and less so on the implementation. So think at a, at a more abstract level. Uh, so you can check out my blog for more details. All the code is there. I invite you to run it yourself, play around with it, just make sure it still works. Um, thank you very much. <laughs>